Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I am going to demonstrate how to make a hourglass quilt block. Um, we do have a special guest here today. This is Tofu and Tofu is quite comfortable on the cutting mat near the sewing machine so we'll work around Tofu. We'll get started. Here on my cutting mat I have a 7 by 7 square. So it's a 7 inch square. I have two. Now you can cut your square to any size you want but I figured 7 by 7 would be good to fit into the camera. And what I'm going to do is place them right sides together, right sides facing. And generally, before you get started, you would want to press your fabric really good, but we're just going to demonstrate quickly how to do it. So once we have the fabrics right sides facing, you want to take your ruler or anything that will help you get a straight line. Just make sure your fabrics are right there together. Okay, and you're going to place your ruler on the diagonal from corner to corner. Make sure they're meeting up at those points. And what you want to do is draw a line. Line up your ruler with the corners, corner to corner, diagonally. And you can use a light pencil or a fabric marker and just line that, draw that line straight across diagonally from corner to corner. Hello! Hello, I have another visitor, uh, my grandson. Uh, what is that? Okay, so once you have the line drawn diagonally, you want to place a pin okay. on either side. And what we're going to do is on each side of this line we're going to sew one quarter of an inch all the way down and one quarter of an inch on the other side of the line. So let's do that. Tofu might move now. We'll see. Make sure you line your presser foot up right on that line, on the edge of that line, and then you're sewing right over to the right of it, one quarter of an inch. I'm using a straight stitch and a 2.5 stitch length. So far, tofu doesn't seem to be phased much. So we did one side of the line, now we're going to sew along the other side of the line. careful not to stitch tofu up in the block. Alright, so now you see we have the line and the two rows of stitching, one on each side of the line. You can remove your pins. And there are many ways to do this particular block, but I figured this was maybe the easiest way. So now you take your ruler and line it up on the line and you're going to cut directly on the line, not cutting through your stitches. And if you recall, this is how we made the half square triangle block. And so now we do have 
two halves that are sewn together and we'll give them a quick press. I'll have to show you how I made my special ironing board one day. And when you give them the press, you want to open that seam where the seam is going to the darker fabric. In this case, it's my red, so the seam is going to be under the red so that it doesn't show through in the final project. And just give it a nice press. You can give it some steam. I'm very proud of this ironing board that I'm, I made. It rolls for me and moves around, so I really appreciate it, especially when it comes to quilting. Just the right size. And I will possibly do a tutorial on that one day. So these little dog ears here sticking out, these little, you can just cut those off to square up your block and make it nice and neat. Okay, and we'll set that aside, and I'll just press the other one just a little bit, because at this point, we're at a, a half square triangle block. Very nice. However, we're not stopping there. We're going to continue to make the hourglass block. So you want to fold it back in half the way it was and then fold it in half to find the center and give it a finger press and then where that indention is for your center you want to cut along there you want to do this to both blocks and you can use scissors or a rotary cutter so now you have those two. Set that aside. Grab the other one. Find the center point of that. Finger press it because you just want to know where the center is. Open it wherever that indention is. Line your ruler there and cut it. So now you have four pieces. You can go ahead and open. And again, give them a good press. Give them a press and clean up that uh, the little dog gears that hang out. all four pieces okay so these are pressed already so once you have all four pieces pressed now's the time to start putting together this puzzle so you set this one here And you find the other one with opposites. So you have opposites across from one another. And as you see, that's forming your hourglass. So what you're going to do is take that half, lay it on top, line up that seam, the middle, the middle seam, and place a pin in it. Set it aside and do the same thing to the other block. You have this side here. This is white. This is red. You match it up where they're opposites, forming your hourglass. Place the right sides together and match up the seam and put a seam in it. It's important for the for them to meet at the seam and not so much on the the beginning or the end of the now you can place as many 
pins in, in it as you need, but the main pin is the seam, matching up the seams. Now once you line up the top there, you're going to do a quarter of an inch. So just line your pressure foot up with the edge of the fabric, and you're going to do your quarter inch seam. Remove the pin as you get close to it. Never sew over pins. And continue on down, adjusting your fabric as you sew along so you have a nice straight edge. There. And we're just going to sit this here. We're going to press it, but we're going to so this one again line up that once you have that seam in the middle lined up then you'll line up the rest of the fabric along that edge and just sew a straight quarter inch or one fourth inch seam adjusting your fabric as you go along give it a good press. So to uh, tofu is leaving now. So I pressed it to set the seam and now I'm just opening it. Press down that seam on both sides. Do the same thing for this one. Open it. Press down. Okay. And now we'll bring it over to the cutting board. I've got a little more room now. And we're just going to clip off those dog ears. You can use your ruler or you can just eyeball it. Clean up that edge to make a nice square. Do that for both. I always clean as I go my scraps. I put things away as I go so by the time I'm finished with my project I don't have a big mess left. So I just clean up as I go. So, and we're finished. We have our hourglass quilt block. There's your hourglass there or there. And when you put these together you can put them opposite. opposite directions or turn them going the same way. Turn this one. And so when you have a bunch of these and you're doing this with a bunch of them it really makes for a nice block. And as you see on my design wall in the, in the back our community service project is coming right along. So these are the blocks that are framed for my students. And then the rest I filled in and I have some more filling in to do. And so this is coming along very nicely. So I'm very proud of how our community service block uh, quilt is coming along. Our students have a few more blocks they're uh, going to add hourglass 
quilt blocks and half square triangle quilt blocks to this. So they have the four patches. These are the four patches. They're just on an angle, but this is how the block. There's your four patch, but we set it on point, and so now it looks like diamonds. So very nice. Um, this won't be going in that project. This will be for a totally different project, Quilt Top. Alrighty. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like the content and found it useful, please like the video. Consider subscribing to the channel and share, and I welcome your comments. Until we meet again, so forth and so on. In Jesus' name, amen.